Okay, good morning everybody. I have two translators you can change and translate uh, interactively, right? Into French or Arabic, that's fine. Right. So, uh, thank you for coming. And um, my name is Henrik Hansson. I'm a, a professor at Stockholm University in Sweden. Yeah, so الحضور. أقدم لكم نفسه أن أستاذ هنري هانسون من جامعة ستوكهولم بالسويد. Yes, and I'm very happy to have translators here, and I'm also very happy to be interrupted all the time. So I encourage you to to question me and to ask questions. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so my He's also a new Swede. He is the first, I mean, he's the second generation Swede, immigrant. Mm -hmm. uh, his parents is from Croatia and Serbia? Serbia. Serbia. Yes, but he's one of the successful immigrants in Sweden and a role model for immigrants. Ibrahim Movic, who is a model of Muhajirin, who is a Swede, who is a model of Najah Laibin in Sweden, who is a Swede, who is a Serbia, but who is a Swede, 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 who is a Swede. Yeah. And you know, he plays in Manchester United now, he played in PSG in France, he played in Inter Milan, he played in Barcelona, he won the league everywhere, except in Sweden. Bidjik. Yeah, I asked, yeah, you're, you're right. Uh, I can't remember uh, all the... Uh, no, it's a famous football player here. Yeah. <laughs> and an interesting thing with Zlatan Ibrahimovic, he is now super rich because you're paid very much as a football player. But he has also written a book, which is the most read book in Sweden, because people who never read books, uh, immigrant boys, mm -hmm. they read this book, How to Be a Famous Football Player. Yeah. 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 أو الأخص المهاجرين إلى أن يقرأوا هذا الكتاب ويستفيدوا من تجربته. شكرا. Yeah, so so actually that brings me to one of my projects. I'm going to talk about two things here. How much do we have? Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. So so when we we can we can have a break in the middle. The break in the middle. Yeah. We can have the break and after we can make. You tell me when the break is. Okay. Uh, so, so uh, one of the things I want to talk about is the new immigrants and uh, in Sweden we receive a lot of immigrants. Here they leave, right? Yeah. And we, we then have to integrate and make them part of society and I'm going to talk about some ideas we have with using information technology. <laughs> سيتحدث حول المعلومات الإلكترونية وكيف يمكن الاستفادة منها في مجال البحث والعلوم وكذلك سيعطي أمثلة للمهاجرين الذين هاجروا إلى السويد لتحقيق نجاح في حياتهم. Um, and the second half after the break, I will talk about information technology for higher education, how you use it here and how we use it in Sweden and maybe how we can improve your uh, quality of education and how you can finish your course faster. Okay, so what else do you know about Sweden except for Slatan Ibrahimovic? <laughs> 
ما تتكلم ولا تعرفون عن السويد وابراهيموفيتش من غير ابراهيموفيتش من غير ابراهيموفيتش كيف تعرفوا شي حاجه على السويد من غير ابراهيموفيتش؟ السويد السويد بليز بليز اسمعوا السويد هي دوله حياديه دائما تلتزم بقضايا يعني بقضايا حياديه يعني نصور فلسطين وقضايا العربيه خصوصا السويد از ا نيوتر ميبي يو شود هاف وان اوف يس دير ايه السويد از ا نيوتر دوله بالعربيه ترجمي لا 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 That's correct. Thank you. Yeah. Actually, Sweden is now in the Security Council yes. in the Euro uh, yeah. United Nations. Uh, that's the first time. Uh, did you know that we had also a uh, uh, general director of uh, United Nations in the 1950s? His name was Gerd Hammarskjöld. Mm -hmm. السويدية هي في مجلس الأمن وكان ولديها أيضا مدير في الأمم ممثل في الأمم المتحدة حيا. Yes. Yeah, that's correct. We don't belong to NATO. We don't belong to Russia. We are a neutral country, but we are a small country. We are only about 10 million people. That's correct. السويد هي دولة محايدة لا تنتمي إلى الناتو أو إلى إلى روسيا هي دولة محايدة ودولة صغيرة نسمتها عشرة ملايين. Okay, so but 10 million people we have about 39 higher education institutions. من بين عشرة ملايين نسمة عندهم تسعود وثلاثين في المية من بين الناس اللي متعلمين ووصلين عندهم مناصب عليا وقدر عالي من التعليم والتثقيف. And in Stockholm, that is the capital, we have about I don't know five or six universities just in that city. في ستوكهولم عاصمة السويد لديهم أكثر من خمس أو ست جامعات متمركزة في السويد. All universities are publicly funded. It's uh, not no private universities in Sweden, and education is free for everyone, also the PhD. في الجامعات مؤسسة في استوكهولم هي جامعات عمومية وكل جامعات في السويد هي جامعات عمومية ليست خصوصية والتعليم مفتوح للجميع حتى الأجانب منهم يعني الذين ليسوا من السويد. Okay, then everybody will ask me. How can I get to Sweden and study? And uh, there is a website, a website called studyinsweden.se. You can find all the information. Yes. Uh, the study in Sweden is in one word. Study in Sweden. Study in Sweden. Study in Sweden. Yeah. Okay. So Stockholm University. That's where I work. We have about sixty thousand students there. Six thousand staff. يعملوا في جامعة ستوكهولم حيث لديهم لديهم حوالي ستة آلاف طالب وستة آلاف طاقم بمعنى ط كل كل لكل طالب فرد خاص بتعليمي. And there are seventy departments and our department. Computer and system sciences is one of them. هناك سبعة عشر دبتمون من بينها قسم دبتمون في المعلومات التي ينتمي إليها الأستد وهو مشرف على هذا القسم. And in our department, we are have six thousand students and about three hundred staff. 
في اخر احصائيه قامت بها وجد ان هناك 6000 طالب في هذه القسم اي قسم المعلوميات و3000 3000 مؤطر اي استاذ وعامل بهذا القسم الذي هو المعلوميات It's a PowerPoint that I just found here to see some facts, but it's not important. I just flip through this stuff. Uh, now it will li look different because there is uh, one meter snow here. <laughs> هذه صورة لجامعة ستوكهولم أخذها على بعد 100 متر من فوق. And as you see here, we have more women than men at the university. الأطر التي تشتغل بالجامعة تكون أكثرها نساء من الرجال حيث تلتزم فيها من النساء وسبعة وثلاثين للرجال فقط وثلاثة وأربعين في المية تحت السن الخامسة والعشرين. والعدد الإجمالي في سنة 2010 كان هو 5880 إطار بهذه الجامعة. يمكنك ترجمة شل ترجمة إيش كل يفعل؟ كتب من المختبرات اللي كتكون منها الجامعة والأنشطة اللي كتكون هناك هي أكتيف بوست كرادويت سودنت فيها ألف و of public this Distribution. That's PhD. Yes. 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 بالنسبة للمناصب أخرى كأساتذة ومؤطرين كيشكلوا 16% وبالنسبة للإدارة والتقنيين كيشكلوا 33% <تصفيق> 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 بالنسبة للتمويل المالي كيجي تقريبا تقريبا 4.2 مليار بليون بليون دورو بالنسبة لما يخصص للتكاليف الدراسة والجامعة 41% والبحث 59% المدخول الفردي للأطر كيقارب 69% يعني لي شارج لي تيخرجو كيكونو بخاسك 23% بالنسبة لي غيدوكسيون ما تبقى كيكون 8% هذا هو التوزيع الإجمالي لميزانية جامعة ستوكهولم Nobel literature. You know, we have Nobel Prize. We award Nobel Prize in Sweden. لقد حصل بعد الكتاب والأدباء السويديين على جائزة نوبل. I can't see it very clearly. No, it doesn't matter. I mean, these are only our own Nobel Prize winners from the Stockholm University. هذا هو من جميع الكتاب نوبل. But you know, we have an Arabic Nobel Prize. Can someone add? Can someone add? Hans van Eliger Schilpert, Kenneth Jorge.
There are questions. This is uh, yeah. teaching or uh, it is uh, in the literature or, literature? Uh, literature or uh, science. Ah, uh, there are science. This, these are chemistry and physics, and one is in economy. Uh, not, not in literature, I think. No, casual literature. Yes. Uh, then just, uh, these are some of our <coughs> research areas, but I, we don't need to translate. I just put this as an overview of what we are doing uh, from a general point of view. Um, we have 100 master programs, maybe that would be in, in English. عندهم ألف ما برنامج ديال ماستر لكن كلهم باللغة الإنجليزية ميتين طالب وألف وتسعمية وبمقا ميتين طالب يعني كديا ألف وتسعمية كوغ تدرسون في خلال هذا مية ماستر كل الدروس كت برنامج أو كت برنامج لوجيسيل بس تسهل عملية التعلم. Yes, maybe. Do you know what Bologna process means? Do you know what that means? هل تعرفون ماذا تعني Bologna process؟ آخر كلمة في Boston. No, no. That means that it's a. You know, in Europe there is I don't know, thirty-five countries, and they all have different higher education systems. But in order to have a common uh, labor market, you have to be able to compare a student graduating from Sweden with a student graduating from France. So the, the grade scale is harmonized. So instead of having zero to 100 in, in Portugal and one excellent and pass in Sweden, they are not comparable. So in, in, in the Bologna process, for instance, we have a the same scale for grading students. It's from A to F. Yeah. So it's if you grade. have an A, you're excellent, uh, and then uh, you know, different grades. So, yeah. so now they can apply for a job in France with people from all over Europe, and they say, this is an A student, this is a C student, this is a B student. So this is one of the harmonization uh, things that is coming to make comparable education uh, from different countries in Europe. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Bologna process is a program that is in the European Union between the students from the university to the university between the countries and the currently in five countries. This program is the 35 countries. This program is the university from the university to the students from the university to the students from the university to the university. وهو مصنف ضمن خمس درجات من العلامات من A إلى F. A تعني الامتياز و F تعني الفشل. A B C D and F. A B C D. So I think I think you like the system American system, no? I know they have different. I think I don't know. Because we are we are working here about with this system here. A, they mean A and A plus. No, we don't have A plus. We don't have. There's a different system. No. So we have A, B, C, D, E is passed by, by very low quality. Yeah. But F is not passed, but you can rework it. FX is your, you don't have any chance to continue. Um, but um, yes, so this is A to FX uh, scale. إذن هذا هو البرنامج الذي تكلم عنه من أي إلى F يعني أي نجاح و F يعني سقوط يعني كيف ما كان قلنا يا خسك تغط خبي هذا ما كان ولكن إذا كانت F كي يكون طاب F means that you are not passing, but you can rework. FX means that you are out. Normally we don't use FX, it's not fair. But what is your scale here? What can you have here? Yeah. Can you explain for them? Uh, we have here if you have 10, 
Yeah. Ten is maximum. Uh, yeah. No, the minimum. Middle, the middle. If middle. you have, uh, start in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So we have no. We have twenty. Uh, okay. No. <laughs> ten. Ten is uh, you can pass away the passab pass. As we say, less pass. It, it's pass. Yeah. pass. Yeah. But you are if you less have, than ten. You're yeah. Not less passing. than ten. I mean, uh, less than uh, six. You need to uh, reword, reword the, the the subject next year. If you have seven. Next year. Yeah, seven hours, yeah. uh, seven uh, up. Not the next day. No, next no. year. No. Seven uh, up. You you have uh, a right to reward the the subject yeah. in the same semester and the same uh -huh. season. Okay. Same uh, and the and the, the mark uh, that uh, we can uh, take uh, mm -hmm. us to uh, succeed is ten up, eleven, twelve, uh, thirteen. Uh, the maximum 20. 20 is maximum. Yeah. So you have a scale from 20, 20 to 0. To zero. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay, thank you. Because in Sweden, if you don't uh, uh, pass, you have uh, three chances to redo it. And it has to be fairly in within the same year. في السويد لم يستطع الطالب أن يستوفي الوحدة لديه ثلاثة فرص ليستوفيها يعني ما يسينش تجي سمستر جاية للعام جاي يعني في نفس سمستر ولا كله للون دم يعني غدي عودها تخوف واو وحتى يدخلها. Because it, she, do you know why they are lovely? Because they say you can take that if you repeat it just you can take it. It's not you can repeat it in yeah. this yeah. exam three times. Yeah. 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 So uh, maybe I should ask you another question now. How is the exams here? Is you are you coming to a room and you're writing it, or or can you do it from home, or can you do it together, or can you do it as an essay you can hand in? So you want to have you want an answer? Uh, but, uh, uh, so, yeah, usually the exams uh, pass in university here in a uh, in a class. Uh, Are you allowed to have internet? Maybe, no, not, uh, no, no. We use uh, when we use just papers and the pens. Uh -huh. They give us a, a while to prepare our exam. Then we come. They ask us uh, questions, and we uh, answer with the pen and the papers, then we wait uh, a week, uh, almost a week, and the, re the results uh, come on. Maybe oral exam. Oral exam. Oral exam. Also, yes. Mm. No, because in Sweden we are leaving paper and pen. We don't use paper and pen. Uh, we, we have paper and pen. But we have uh, electronic, electronic exams. So you can take your exam through the computer. Either yeah. Okay, so we can do the So yeah, so uh, in that way we can uh, we can give feedback to students uh, in the same day, if they pass or not, and also uh, a teacher can uh, quickly assess the results uh, for all the students in a big class. Uh, we have different uh, systems for this. Some of the systems are blocking everything internet. You cannot uh, search anything. You can only use the, the, the formula for the, the questionnaire or whatever it is. And actually, we are also quite, I don't know, this is probably new to you, but if you look into uh, 
the skills you need in work. How do you approach your work? For instance, we can ask Professor Dries here that if you have a task, let's say that you, you want to create a research project with Sweden, do you lock yourself in and write with the paper what you know? Or do you use the internet and phone your friends and uh, use every, every resource? No, no, no. Of course, that's what you do. So, we have also exams that you are allowed to use everything. Your network, internet, uh, all the contacts, but you have a limited time. But you, are, you should use everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a problem-solving approach. It's not cheating. It's just that you have to come up with a solution for something. في السويد عندنا شتيات امتحانات إلكترونية هناك نوع من الامتحان الذي يقوم أنك تستعمل البس فيه ولكن يكون أمر جسيل عندك في البس ديالك لكي منك أنك تستعمل الانترنت أنك تستشر شيء صديق أنك مهم الغش ما غيك وشوقة عندك البس كي يقولون أنه جسيل لكي منع من منعهم يستعملوا أي حاجة أخرى أوسي كي واحد امتحان آخر كي يستعملوا فيه البس مي كي يعطوهم واحد لا دي غير محدد أنه يستعملوا فيه الانترنت أو ليستشروا صديق أو لا مهم يخد I can have a, I can have a course assignment. I can have a course assignment that says to the students, you work in pairs or you work in groups of four, and you will come back in one week and you present how we will use internet for integrating Moroccan refugees in Sweden. It's completely open. But you have to come up with a smart solution. You have one week to do it. Mm -hmm. If you come up with something that you can solve a big thing, mm -hmm. but it's not ready answered. But if you haven't shown that uh, this is a very systematic way and clever way of understanding the problem, and here's how we present it. Uh, يقول لهم ما تدعو لعنا بواحد لبخوزي ويزود كيف اش نستعملوا الانترنت باش انتقروا لجيتي ديون اللي غيفيجي ماروكا في السيستم الثقافي والدراسي السويدي Yes, so but what we want, you know, every education system they want to give the students the skills they need for work life to be employable So in Sweden we believe that you need to understand IT, you need to be able to sort out things yourself, you have to solve problems in a creative way. And second is that, uh, so we are using digital things and we are using also groups. So it's not only isolated you in, in a room, you're not allowed to do anything, just your pencil. You use your group and you use internet. في السويد يعطونا الأولوية للطلبة من أجل الابتكار يعني والبحث لا يزيلونهم في غرف يعطون لهم مرقة في يقول لهم جل الامتحان يعطون لهم إمكانيات بشي خلقوا بشي خلقوا يبدلوا أفكار بشي خدموا أون جروب حيث كي أمنوا بأن الطالب خاصو خاصو يتكون أحسن تكوين لم يهلش فقط مجال الدراسة والثقافة أنه يشتغل فيه بل أيضا مجال العمل يعني Yes, have you heard about 21st century skills? Which I have heard about the 21st Because that's the skills you need in the future. هذه هي دابا الان الاخوان ارجوكم الان غادي ندخلوا للمعقول دابا غادي نجيو للبروغرام اللي كيدير هو تعرفوا دابا هما هما It's uh, it's the skills you need in the future and it's uh, generic skills. So for instance it's uh, in the future we believe you need problem solving skills. You have to identify a problem yourself. You need creativity have to uh, be creative in order to create a solution and, and you have to know how to collaborate with different types of people, different cultures, different religions, different languages and so on. So communication, collaboration, problem solving and creativity is very important. And you find it in every subject, but it's generic. You cannot say I know the grammar here and I will always work with this. Yeah. You have to have this generic yeah. skills. 
سريع كمل مهارات القرن الثاني والعشرين اللي كيف ما قال الاستاذ هي خص الانسان يعرف كيفاش يتعامل مع المشاكل المستقبليه أنا خص تكون عنده مهارات ابداعيه مهارات كيفاش يتعامل مع الاجهزه الالكترونيه والتكنولوجيا ما خصوش خصو الطالب او الانسان بصفه عامه انه يتاقلم مع التطور التكنولوجي اللي حدثوا الثورة الأخيرة كيف ما قال الأستاذ ويأخذ من مهارات القرن الثاني والعشرين شو هي هي أن تدخل الثقافات تدخل اللغات اللغة ما تبقاش لغة واحدة كل لغة تولي كتكلم كل لغة غادي يولي ندخلوا فيها ثقافات متعددة كتكامل فيما بينها دروس النحو ولا الجرامر هي في كل اللغات اللي تكون تقريبا وحده بمعنى ان غنخلقوا واحد اللغه متكامله ومتشابكه العلم سيصبح واحدا في كل القارات وكل الثقافات هذا هو القرن 22 نعم سو يو نو ذيس سوفت سكيلز ذي ار نوت سو ايزي تو ميشر ان اكزام بروبلم سولفينغ كرياتيفيتي كوميونيكيشن اند كولابوريشن يس سو يو هاف تو اكزام فور سكيلز كاين اللي كتب لي التواصل مهارات التواصل مهارات التواصل ومهارات الابداع ومهارات حل المشاكل والانفتاح على العالم الخارجي نعم اوكي هذو هما اربع المهارات اللي غادي يكونوا في التعليم المستقبلي يس اتس اوكي اتس اوكي يس سو وي لايك تو انكارج ذيس تايبس اوف سكيلز بات ذن وي هاف تو تشينج ذا واي وي ار اكزامينينغ بيكوز اف وي ار اكزامينينغ بيبر اند بان ايزوليتد وي ار نوت اكزامينينغ وات وي وونت ذا ستودنتس تو نو ما من بين مهارات القرن الثاني والعشرين هي تغيير طريقة اجتياز الامتحانات بورقة وقلم إلى طرق أكثر حداثة من أجل إخراج الطالب من قوقعة كما قال التقليدية للقوقعة الحداثية باش يقدر يواكب التغير المعلوماتي في القرن الحالي. Yes. Okay, I was stopping. It was the Bologna process I was talking about, but uh, let's see here. Yeah, this was. I want to talk about uh, the diaspora entrepreneurship. Yeah, you don't see very much here, but. Uh, This is a European project called Diaspora Link. Diaspora is people living in a country where they were not born. Yes, please. This is the first program that I have to tell you. It's called Diaspora Link Portal. Yes, so the European Union is funding this project. You can find it if you Google diaspora link uh, or if you type diasporalink.org. Then you find information about this. يمكن يكون الولوج إلى هذا الموقع يعني بكتابة الاسم الأعلاس بالخط الموضوع ديسبورا لينك أن يبغادي تلقاو جميع المعلومات حول هذا البرنامج وجميع من خارطة والأسس ديالو كل شيء. Yes, it is twenty-four universities and it's one in Morocco. All the wine. Yeah. يضم هذا البرنامج 24 جامعة من بين جامعات الأخوين المغربية. Yes, but but the problem is open for also for other universities and and here. The issue is that there are 75 million people living in Europe who are not born in Europe, and it it they need to be included and to create jobs or we have we have to help them to create jobs. Because jobs is taken away all the time. So, for instance, your mobile phone here, it's taken away uh, record companies, you have your records here, it's taken away the film companies, you have the films here, and taken away a lot of things. And you, you book your tickets here, taken away the ticket office, and so on. So, a lot of work, I mean, most of the works are disappearing. So, we have to invent new works, we have to create new works. So, therefore, this project is about entrepreneurship and how you can learn to start new businesses as a migrant. هذا البرنامج المفتوح سيمكن الناس بصفة عامة من من 
تعلم كيفية خلق أعمال خاصة بهم نظرا للثورة الإلكترونية التي نعرفها الآن مع أكثر من مثال لأن الهاتف النقال فقط نستطيعه من خلاله بأن مشاهدة الأفلام أن نحمل الكتب أن نشتري ملابس أكل تذاكر سفر وغيره أن الثورة الإلكترونية قد ألغت معظم هذه الوظائف التي كان عادة أن يقوم بها أشخاص لذلك فهذا فهذا البرنامج هدفه تعليم الاشخاص كيف يبداون باعمال حره يعني خاصه بهم ان يخلقوا فرص عمل لانفسهم. Yes, so uh, uh, as I told you we have uh, maybe 100,000 new Swedes coming in from uh, from other countries. Uh, many speak Arabic for instance, so maybe we can talk about your subject a little bit. So one one of the ideas Uh, I developed with students was to see if we can integrate the new immigrants with using IT in a new way. بالنسبة للسويد فهي الآن تعرف وفود حوالي مئة ألف مهاجر من بينهم مهاجرين عرب وأيضا خصصوا ضمن هذا البرنامج جزء منه يرمي إلى يرمي إلى إدخال هؤلاء المهاجرين العرب طلبة منهم أو ناس عاديين ضمن ضمن النظام أو النسق الثقافي والتعليمي بالسويد. نعم. Yes, in French. Or in French. Yes. But your 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 study here is in Arabic. In Arabic. So in Arabic. Yeah. 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 Everybody, yeah. Because yeah. I I got an idea from uh, another project. It was retired people. They have a lot of time, but they are al alone. So there were American retired people who were using Skype to talk to Brazilian young students. The young students they wanted to learn English. And the retired people, they just wanted to interact and do something with their time. So, using this Skype connection, they learned English. The Brazilian learned English, and the retired people got the uh, uh, enjoyment of not being alone. So, this concept, I was.